Today we are going to see a demo of how to add passkeys to any website within minutes. Tscope enables passkeys by using the concept of flows, which is a drag and drop builder for building any user journey. Let's create a new flow. This is a blank canvas and we're going to see how to build a flow to add pass keys to your website. Let's start by adding a quick screen. The screen is designed to be customizable login screen or any other UI that can be shown to the user. Let's add an email field, enable pass keys on the email field and add pass keys dialog, which is login with face ID or touch ID. That's your login screen. Connect it. Go add an action web authn. We will use the same action for both signing up new users or logging in users and that's about it so that's all you need to do in the flow to enable pass keys let's quickly test it we will test it in what we call dscope explorer copy the project id dscope explorer is a fantastic tool to quickly do a preview of the flow. We will give our flow ID, which was pass keys. And you see, this was the flow that we just designed. Let's log in. It asks to create a pass key. Continue. And now I can click on my touch ID and log in. You get a successful response. One of the things you need to keep in mind as you go ahead and build a flow with passkeys is you must verify the user's email. So let's add a step for verifying email. Let's see how to do that very easily. Dscope flows has a concept of conditions. Let's add a condition to see if the email for the user is verified. email in the key and verified email is true that means email verified Verif email not verified this adds two particular paths to our flow one is is the email verified one is email not verified if the email is verified we log in the user let's align this if the email is not verified, we would like to add an OTP step here. We will find an OTP action, which is update the user OTP over email. So we can verify the email and then update the user's email that it is verified and log in the user via passkeys. Before we test it, let's delete this user because we're going to retest the whole flow and see how it goes. Let's come here. Refresh, login. As you can see, it's re-signing up. Continue. This time I'm going to try and log in with my Apple Watch. Logged in. Since the email is not verified for this user, it's asking me for the OTP code that's sent to the email. Paste the OTP. And that's logged in. So a quick recap, Dscope support flows to enable any authentication methods very easily. As you can see, our first step was to add a screen. The screen has an email and a login button. Action was sign up or in with WebAuthn. Condition for email verified. And if the email is not verified, verify the email and generate the chart. That's how easy it is to add pass keys to any website. Thank you.